An attorney hired to review the massive loss of Dallas police data says an IT employee acted recklessly, but her firm believes the employee did not have malicious intent when he erased millions of files. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us with this story. Lori. Clarice, the report released last week by former U.S. Attorney Aaron Neely Cox cost the city a half million dollars. And the major conclusion, the city still has a lot of work to do to protect its data. He either disregarded or misunderstood the warnings in the software. We found he did not have adequate training, but we did not identify any evidence of malicious intent. Former U.S. Attorney Aaron Neely Cox told a Dallas Council Ethics Committee that the actions of a former city IT technician were accidental, but also inexcusable. Even though he, I think, sincerely believed he wasn't doing anything wrong, I think his actions were reckless. The mistake deleting 20.68 terabytes of Dallas police data still difficult for Dallas City Councilman Paul Blackman to understand. The 13th and the 19th, there are quite a bit of internal memos or emails going back and forth, and the, but the, yet this the exercise still continues. If you've seen, you know, the police chief saying, um, you know, missing files or folders from network drives. And you say, and then there's another one, potential mass data loss occurring because of an error during routine stuff. And they, they continue. Why did they continue all summer? It is a question difficult for the city's independent investigator to answer. His testimony will be that he did not believe these additional deletions were going to impact data. So far, the lost data has not been critical to any current criminal cases. The committee chairwoman, Kara Mendelson, said she believed the most important recommendation from the 62-page report is for the city to conduct a full review of IT, a department with a $100 million budget. The report highlights the much broader challenges in ITS and potentials for other critical losses and operational challenges. And sadly, with 20 terabytes of data loss, we're actually lucky. Mm -hmm. And I think you've said that many times, how lucky we actually are. Um, and we might not get lucky next time. Some changes the city needs to make are akin to Cybersecurity 101. UT Dallas cybersecurity expert Dr. Marat Kartiglo told us the key thing to preventing data losses is to have files stored in three locations. So that if one thing goes because of a cyber attack or a fire, you would have another copy of the file. And the city needs more people signing off on archiving so mistakes can be caught. Any single individual shouldn't be able to mess it up even if they want to. So you need to have multiple checks and uh, you know, signing through the procedure. 